Hi, my name is Heather Raffo. I'm a playwright and an actress. I'm the author of Nine Parts of Desire, which is a play that began in New York and has gone all around the world. I'm also the author of the opera Fallujah that has most recently played at um, New York City Opera. And I'm here at the Shakespeare Theater doing the world premiere of my new play, Noura. Yeah, well, Washington, D.C. is the heart of the conversation, I think, for me personally. I mean, Washington, D.C. is literally the only place in America where you can have a Supreme Court justice and an Iraqi woman and a high school student in the same audience. So that is the conversation. And it's where we need to have that conversation. It's, it's the place where all those people can stay for a talk back. <laughs> and all those people can watch each other experience the journey of the play. Um, I think it's hugely hugely important for also an American audience, um, particularly in DC, to get a sense of who these Iraqi refugees are. Um, the many ways they defy stereotypes, um, but to so deeply and humanly get inside their journey. I also think it's a really right time for us to relook at um, what we consider modern feminism. Um, Ibsen, the a Doll's House, Ibsen's The Doll House, I think is the most produced play in the world. I think. <laughs> um, it, if, if it's not the most, it's, it's, it's definitely up there. So we have a chance as, as a Western democratic nation to really unpack what it means to be a modern woman in a marriage and with children and how that's going to play out. Um, there's, there's, there's less feminist material dealing with motherhood and feminism. And I think that that's an essential element of the Ibsen, so it's an essential element of this play. And it's something that I think we're trying, we have been trying to talk about as a nation, but we keep failing. And the pull is, is the pull of the individual versus the community. And I think that that really plays out when you have a play dealing with Western and Middle Eastern, pitting those two cultures near each other. Because America, as much as we love each other and can often be for each other, it is our, one of our primary, um, models is the rugged individualist. That's, that's how we move through the world. It's something we prize. And a Middle Eastern culture is all about community at all times. Not always for the best. Sometimes it's beautiful, sometimes it's really difficult. So I think that the way these two things come together in this play is the kind of conversation our nation is already having, but can have more openly.